fun. Oh, I've been good. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a long, long time. And uh, Portia says hello. You worked with Portia on Nip Tuck. I did. Please say hello back. She was great. Yeah, she she had fun on that show. That's it's such yeah. a good show. And this is the last season, right? Well, there's one more after this. It's very confusing. We're done shooting all the episodes, but they have two seasons in the can. Wow, you banked that many. Yeah. So you're, you're done shooting. Is that good, or are you sad? You know, you... it's both. It's both. The, the thing ran its course. It had a great life of its own. I loved it. I'll always be grateful. But certain things were getting old. I mean, being naked in my 40s. You're naked a lot. I'm naked a lot. And it's funny, you know, when I was in my 20s, nobody asked me to be naked. No? And, but that's when that you want to be naked, take, when you're in your 20s. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. It, it should be against the law to be naked in your 40s. Uh -huh. And yet, week in and week out, yeah. And we'd get the scripts and we'd flip ahead to see if I have to be naked and we'd uh -huh. hit the gym. No, yeah. Well, that does. It keeps you, it keeps you in the gym when you it know did. you have to be naked on TV all the time. Yeah. And, and then there's a lot of, like, uh, sex scenes and a lot of stuff like that. And does that get old or do you still enjoy that on, on camera? Well, I think you enjoy it to an extent. Um, not to the extent <laughs> that my wife would, would perhaps be bothered by it. But no, it, it would... The show kept having to one-up itself. Yeah, and that yeah. got hard. You yeah. know, seven years in, you can imagine the stuff was getting pretty crazy. Yeah, I know. It's a very out there show anyway. And and do you how old are your kids? Thirteen, eleven, and five. Wow. And and they don't know anything about what goes on on that show, do they? No, it's I don't let them watch it for obvious reasons. Right. And and you know, they know I'm an actor and they see these provocative billboards and and they hope that what I do isn't porn or something like that. But <laughs> But they're not absolutely certain. They're uh, very curious. Uh huh. And now stepfather, they can't. They can't really see that either. Although my 13-year-old may be able to see that. Really? Yeah. Could a 13-year-old see that? Yes. It looks very scary. Yes, it is. But it's PG, and we made it. It's scary without being gory. So. I, oh, I, that's good. Because yeah. I don't like the gory. Me neither. No, scary is just like suspenseful, like Hitchcock and kind of. Yeah, like, that's yeah. thriller. This yeah. is not horror. This is thriller. Yeah. And so uh, you went with your entire family to Italy recently, is that right? Yes, we did. Where'd we, you go? We, we went to Tuscany, mm -hmm. and, uh, stayed in a villa for two weeks there, and then we went to Lake Como. Oh, wow. I've it never was been gorgeous. there. gorgeous. So it, beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. And did you see George Clooney? I did not. It's so funny that you say that because everybody... I was actually recognized a lot more there than here. Really? Um, they loved the show, which is a surprise because you're in these very old towns, and it's hard to imagine them even having TVs much less huddled around watching Nip Tuck. But right, right. They would, they would say hello, and they'd say, they'd call me Sean McNamara, but then they would say, are you here to see George? And I would say, well, well no, I'm just here. Uh -huh. you know, I'm here for my own. Mm -hmm. uh, and then everywhere we went, oh, you're here to see George? <laughs> nope. They, I guess they just think celebrities all are there to visit George. Yeah, and it's all about George in Italy. Yeah, I yeah. bet. Yeah. I bet. See, now that gives me an idea because I could just say, I'm here to see George. Where does he live? Then yeah. I could ask them and then they, I could just show up. And they sure know where he lives. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're ready to show you. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. You th is he bothered a lot there? I think so. Oh. Yeah. I that, we took this ferry across the lake and the ferry slows down in the middle of the lake and you're wondering, what's it for? It's so that everybody can take pictures of George. Oh, that's not yeah, right. Right in front of his house. God, you'll have to tell me where that is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And so, and so, tell me about your, your teenager. You said your teenager may see. Uh, what is your teenager going through right now? Oh, he's at 13. 13. He's he's texting every 30 seconds. Uh, he's so awkward. It reminds me. <laughs> it reminds me of what I was like. Uh, I think he's having a little more fun than I did. Uh huh. But he is so awkward. And then I come to pick him up from school, and it's all you know, because I don't really talk about stepfather or nip tuck or anything. Mm -hmm. And all the kids are like, oh, stepfather. So it's like. You know, uh, to add to his awkwardness. Um, but, yeah, he's really going through the whole hormonal thing. And the voice changing and all that? Yep, and, yep. Yeah. And he, we had a talk this morning about this mustache that has shown up. <laughs> that we need to shave, and he doesn't want to shave it. And At 13, he's yeah, got a mustache? well, it's a little thin one. It's just, it looks like he took a sip of tea and left a little. Wow. Yeah. I have an ant like that. <laughs> uh,